still. Everybody's still gone. Continue. We're going to start a bit afterwards. Okay, everything sounds good. Thank you, long loading screen. I can check audio and stuff while you're loading. Uh, okay, let's go. I platinum. Hardware rivals. Last today. Last today night. Fuck it. Last today night. Come on, loading screen. So last time on, everybody's gone. We, I think, completed the Jeremy chapter, and I loaded it up afterwards to see where the auto save would be because it doesn't have any manual save features. Because immersive experiences and all that. But the whole thing about last time I streamed this, oh yeah, we're just gonna end with Heremy being taken by the ghosts. What are the controls? R2 is build up speed. Yeah, but Jeremy was the last everybody's gone. And then we go through here. And I don't know if this is going to take us to the frame rate. I don't know if this is going to take us to the same place that, uh... It says there's a message, but there's no message. Huh. I don't understand. Whoever posted that posted it again. If you want me to see it. Ah, oh, Elliot. Hey, Elliot. I don't know why it popped up on the top right, but it didn't pop up. What's going on? I'm good. Everybody's gone. It's lonely, but it's beautiful. And this is the light from before. Which didn't have a name. It can't be Jeremy. Jeremy's. Hedemy's. Gone. The game's really pretty, and the music's pretty. And the one bad thing is the lighting. Like, you see, it's night whenever you get really close to those lights. It gets all starry in the sky. But then when it resets to day, it's not just like turning on a light. It's it has to like load in all the stuff and the trees, shadows just come down at like two frames a second. Yeah, but the whole thing I ended the last stream with was, it's like, oh man, I gotta hurry and beat this chapter because we're getting close to the two hour mark and you can't put stuff over two hours on YouTube normally. It doesn't like to work. It doesn't like to function properly. No, it was an hour and a half. So there was no worry. Everything was okay. No problem, Elliot. I like talking about Star Wars and Metal Gear. We didn't get to talk about Metal Gear that much, though. One day. One day, hopefully soon. God, I'm still really annoyed. I have 81% of the trophies in uh, Metal Gear because uh, I got every single S rank in the game, but it doesn't say I got every S rank because Konami be bugging. And then they fixed it right after I returned my game. Seems really pretty. You do look ever so drawn this morning. Barbara. That bloody dog kept me awake. And Wendy's there was that awesome. thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do name. with the atmospheric conditions. 
My Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. My Stephen? Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Balp has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. Okay. Sorry I can't talk when those are going on. I like to... I'm trying to pay attention to the steering. It might not be today. I have a... We plan on doing a destiny thing. To, uh... Today to get the platinum trophy for Destiny. But I don't know if that's gonna be. I don't know what time that is. We still haven't set it. But one day soon. Definitely. So, Dr. Wade. I remember getting confused because he's the only one who has. Whatever it's called, Mr. Mrs. Doctor. He has a his job or his position title in his name and they say his last name instead of his first name. As his thing. Like whenever he reads a line in the subtitles it goes Doctor Wade Colon blah blah blah. He said this. But then in dialogue most of the time they say his actual name, but I can't remember his actual name now. And then sometimes he's like Mrs. Boughton. Probably because she's not an actual character in the thing, because I think she was the one who won the one who ran, who just disappeared, like one of the first ones, like the second light we encountered in the game. I think that was Dr. Wade before I knew who Dr. Wade was. Because he was talking about opening the surgery. I have no clue what's going on. Bye, Elliot. Have a nice day. Thanks for coming. Music's like uplifting and nice and calm. This must be the same road. Oh, this must be Wendy's chapter, yeah. It's just another way to lead to Wendy's chapter. I'll call them chapters, I suppose. Arcs. Yeah, and the, the first part of this game, which if you haven't played this game yet, I think I've gotten all the story segments so far. So it's like a full getting all of the story. It's on uh, YouTube or the like the the replay thing that Twitch saves. I think it's a really neat game so far. It's got horror-y elements, but it's also just really pretty and cool to look around. This little cabin. And we came from there. Little garage, garage. Light is telling me What's this. Is that is that going to be our entire? Tr oh, there's that little infinity logo again. Oh, it's everywhere. I wonder if that actually marks something. Because Yachton, I think, was the original place we were just at. The tree house. Tree house. Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. Amanda's the one. to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father Jeremy spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. Seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father, I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's it's probably Stephen. Doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. Yep, Neil. A good Neil man and like my Eddie gone, and these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return—nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. 
Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. So Jeremy's still a character in this. This must be... I don't know the timelines of any of this stuff. It's weird. Still weird you can't do doorbells, but you can shake. Can I kick it? No, still not. That soccer ball looks impeccable. <gasps> Interacting with the environment in a movement way. What? Maybe skip. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 16th. <laughs> I interacted with that. What was that? Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. Where year is it supposed to be? I don't understand what that means. Was that June 6th, 1984? I could just be totally wrong, even though I heard it five seconds ago. 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984? I don't know. Okay, that's the guiding light, not the actual interactive story portraying light. I think it's the first time I actually go in one of these little sheds. Normally if there's anything to interact with though, you'll hear the static or something. You'll hear something, or like the light, or you'll see it. I know the point of no return in this game, where there are no more collectibles beyond a certain point, but I don't know what the collectibles are so far. They could be those lights, they could be the radios, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how this game works yet, so I might just get to that and then start a new stream and be like, okay, this stream is entirely dedicated to going back and getting all the collectibles. And then we'll beat the game. Or I could just beat the game. I don't know. I'd have to look at the trophies at that point. It's a lot of stuff over here. I doubt anything's over here. This music makes it sound like there's something down here. This kind of reminds me of an Alan Wake. That was weird. The music was just playing over there. The lady singing. The... It's the one note pitch, whatever. I've already kind of lost myself. We looked at that house up there. There's the tree house. Okay. Phone. In another car. Odd. And there's the light, and there's two places to split off. Ah! There's two pizza boxes. Is it on the front? It got as far as the Haverton substation before this we five? cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. That's the guy who's talking to on the phone over there. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen. I said it's contained. That guy clearly doesn't want doesn't want to uh, have the the death by airstrike of everyone who is still alive on his conscience either, which is fair. But you've got to make decisions. <laughs> that guy's clearly not played enough Telltale games, am I right?
Oh, I thought this was just a couch. No, it's a broken little thingy. Another one of those recorder things. Yeah, they're definitely reusing assets sometimes. Kind of random. Another light. No, not light. Uh, phone. There's no way we can get in here. Yep. Yeah, that is a solid door texture painted into the wall. This game also has like a Last of Us feel to it with the look. Just the greeneries. It's all nice and like the embers. The the lights like floating in the air. With Last of Us it wasn't lights. But still, it's like a pollen kind of. It's so weird to switch between playing vastly different games all the time. Oh, I could have gone up from there too. It's like, oh man, playing car combat, playing a car combat game. What was the point of that trail? I don't like all these interweaving trails and stuff. There's no real need for it. And I'm gonna end up exploring way more of them than I need to. I haven't got a single trophy yet either. I assume there might be a trophy for completing each of the named segments. Like we did, I'm, I'm hoping, every one of the things in uh, Jeremy's section. And I like Jeremy. I think that was a well done character so far. I like him. The voice acting in this game is really good. Hello, Frank Appleton. Break a lost cowboy, this is traveling Sherlock. You copy over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You take this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious, it's not larking about. You'll be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff, and you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a point. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. Oh, no, I'll argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. Get wrecked, Charlie. So, one thing I forgot to mention was, Wendy said, my boy Steven, I think at one point, like, that's her son, and then she said her husband, or whatever, I don't remember the terminology she used, but I'm pretty sure she was like, oh, my husband died in the war, he lived a short life. And then, I think Frank, Frankie, I think that's the other guy, is that a dead bird? That's a toy bird, probably, unless that model is just absolute trash. But, um... So, I don't know if... Frank... Frank didn't live a short life. He sounds like an old man. And there's two different people saying, my boy, Steven. So, either she didn't have a child with her husband who died in the war. The guy who died in the war was her son, and I misheard what she was saying or how she was implying it. Or that's her second husband, Frank, and that's their son, Stephen. Or that's... Or Frank is the stepson. Or the... Yeah, stepson of... Uh, Frank is the stepfather of Stephen. Unless Frank is just totally different. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too. I guess that was an actual dead bird, then. I've been trying to get hold of Stephen. He always knows what to do. Got round here and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. What? What are they talking about? They said dead birds, and then we'll, we hope they'll run under a car. So they it must have been talking about a dog or a cat or something. I don't know, I'm just going to assume Wendy is definitely Stephen's mom. Or mum, sorry. It, yeah probably a dog 
They're in good all caps right there. There's definitely a lot of reused assets all over the place. Like just stuff, like those sponges I noticed in the past stream. Just random sponges. Sponge! Just, yeah, sponges everywhere. This is no Ori in the Blind Forest. Yeah, it's also pretty obvious. Yeah, Frank must be a different person then. Because there was only one light with the old man who referenced Steven as his boy. I th think that was when Jeremy was like, Hey, dude, where's your son? Or where's your son's wife? Or whatever. Because Kate... Seems like Kate is in none of these once the events start going down of everybody disappearing. Kate is in none of these. She was in the very, like, the third one or so, or the first when we actually get into Yachten. And then Barb was there, and she's like, hey, wife of Appleton, because women are objects. I like just making fun of Barb. Acting like she's actually this super old-timey sexist person but I think her line was actually that was supposed to be that Kate is no longer or they're going through a divorce or a separation or something Harvey. not that they're not Harvey, actually on, together boy. yeah Harvey's the dog and that's come Terry on. and June come on Harvey new people come on boy Harvey. Harvey. the dogs probably noticed these events first Terry and June. And I'm just gonna follow these nerds and do what they're doing. Wendy's... Nah, no, nah, Wendy's been in enough of these. I was gonna say, this doesn't feel like a Wendy chapter. Nah, uh, no, nah, that's fine. Just push it. Push the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. The car? Just taking the car. This was a stupid idea. Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, God. You have, like, then? a wagon or Wait, something? Wait, Harvey? Harvey? Because it's not Harvey, your Harvey, car, you just said you... Boy. Come here, boy! You just said we should have taken the car. So what did they have instead? They're looking for their pup. Terry and June, and I don't think Terry and June have been anything else, so I doubt this is going towards a happy ending. Is that what they had? Nope. Nope, it's not on wheels, so yeah, this pogo again. A little horsey. And little things to jump around on. Oh god. See, it switches to night quickly. I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He left. It's too late. You loved each Lizzie other and long Steven. before she came along. Lizzie's the one it's who's just having an affair. Making things as they should be. Wendy, Wendy, fuck off. No. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. <laughs> Wendy is inciting adultery here. She's pimping out people. At least my boy Steven's still sweet on you. You're both married. Fuck off. Fuck each other off. So does Wendy not know her son's married yet? Like, why would she do that? Does she not like Kate? Fuck off. That's messed up. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like their marriage is super successful. And the first, one of the first light things, if not the very first, was Steven and Kate being like, all. Oh, angry and Steven's like hey I love you and he seemed like he's actually genuine so why he would be having an affair with an old fling once he moves back to his hometown I don't know I'm getting really wrapped up in the uh, in the relationships in this little village I like this I like this game seems neat How did I get? Is this the wrong path? Yeah, it is. I don't like all these paths that just make me feel like I'm missing a bunch of stuff. 
So I walk down them and then I immediately walk back up them. Nothing in that car. This is a pretty little idyllic town. Idyllic. Oh god. The way I sit when playing video games. Not comfortable. Radio. Knew it. Phone call from Steven. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. Who is sitting here listening to There's intermittent there electrostatic speeding. discharges radiating out I'm of the tower for a six. Bus. Tower six. All of yeah, the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. So yeah, they keep mentioning tower six. They don't mention what's happened with tower six. Someone was waiting for a bus and they died. Narrowed. I can see him. Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sure. What? We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look. He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh he's hurt. We've got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh, my God. He's trying to undo his seatbelt. There we are. He's fine, then. Enough. That's what? fucked up. Oh, Sean and I didn't get her name. Ugh. Too many people. And there's that unnamed guy stuck in the. So I guess they got into a car accident, or they didn't get into an accident because they have a baby in the car. They'd be much more worried if they actually had contact. I doubt they actually. I, it's probably, it does say narrow road, and the guy's trying to swerve to avoid them and went off the road. And then they just ditched him, so that must have been like as soon as shit was popping off. And you really don't want a child around during a flu epidemic. Because children... No, that guy looks like he probably got deadified. How did that happen? How did that happen? just impaled through the window. It doesn't look like he would have gotten impaled because they would have been way less worried about him being able to undo his seatbelt and more about all the blood spl splattering everywhere. We haven't seen Terry and June again yet. Or Harvey, my favorite character in the entire game, Harvey. Grief, Wendy, you catch your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Oh, she was just talking about Here. it. But damn. Take my jacket. Fucking foreshadowing. I tried to be a good woman. A Christian woman. But I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. Okay. It's what Eddie would have done. Eddie's her husband. Yes. Who's the one who said Stevens, my boy? I think it was that Frankie you. guy. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter now. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. This is, I'm sure when the yes. sun comes up, everything will seem better. The, chron the chronology of the events is kind of odd. But I, 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 have a, I have an understanding of what's going on. Mary was the girl that he euthanized. The wife of that guy who all his cows died. Who I don't think he himself has been in the story at all. But, yeah, it's good. I like Wendy. Barbara seems a lot more stupid old woman. Uh, stuck in her ways. But Wendy was like, no. No, you helped her. Like, yeah. That was good. What, closure on their part? I 
go up here first because sidetracking. Train. That train looks amazing. This train looks. Everything in this game looks amazing. This train's pretty. Just walking on the railroad. Oh, God. Hobo? Oh, my God. That's a lot Howard, of blood. What's happened? Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. It's a... Bloody idiot. Mm. Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say Howard. there's a working phone in the junction box? I don't know the word pragmatic. I don't hear it enough. That's fucked up, though. So, everyone was trying to get out. Some people met a bloodier death. I mean, all of them met bloody, quote-unquote, deaths, disappearances. They still haven't explained what determines... I don't know, they haven't explained much, really. I gotta remember... This seems like a... Yeah, we can still return down there, but I'm gonna go back all the way from where I came. Because that's just gonna lead back to the main road. And I'm gonna wanna explore the entire road between where where I came up and where that leads down. Because I'm like that. I've lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They take my shoes, sir. Howard? Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, you So he's some weirdo. I lost my and... shoes. Now get up. Get up. There's Argy's shoes. on my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing Listen. with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. What a dick move, Where are you Stephen? going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Wendy's a badass. I think they don't say it, but I guess she has birds with her. Alive or dead. She just said all her birds were dead, so I don't know. She could be doing the canary thing they did in Mines, where she's keeping birds with her, and if her birds die, then she knows this is not a safe area because I will die soon. Which is a smart thing. Lady, you're smart. If that's even what's going on, I'm just guessing. I think I'm pretty smart. I think I know some things. And that canary thing, hopefully, is what they're trying to reference there. Is it even? Yeah, it's canaries in, canaries in a coal mine. That's why it's canaries, because C and C. Command and conquer. It's blood everywhere. H How? There must be something wrong with Howard. Like, he's not, he's not normal. Because he lost his shoes. And he's just in the... I, I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes. But Steven, what a dick. He took his shoes. So it's like, you can't leave. And what does Lizzie have to do with anything? The only two things we've seen Lizzie in, I think two, we haven't even seen her husband, I don't think, has been about her cheating. One, she was confining in Jeremy for having cheated on her husband with, uh, with Steven. And then that one's Wendy trying to set up some bullshit between the two. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, 
Is everything all right, my Beth dear? Beth Lizzie. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. <laughs> Robert, your husband, then. That man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a miser and old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both like know you, that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? Yeah, she probably doesn't like Kate. I suppose it is. I have to accept it. I know, but she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't oh, look at me like off. that. What they do up there, it's not natural. But there Stephen does it too. We're when not you supposed accept it. to understand. You accept it for Stephen because he's your like son. Her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Hmm. Well, Wendy the racist. Yeah. She's like, don't look at me like that. And that's one of the things I like about this game. The way they represent all the people. You don't get to judge them by their physical appearances or anything. I mean, you do get to judge them by their voices. If you like someone's voice over someone else's voice. But all the voice acting's pretty good. So you can't even really do that. You can't judge the people on the characters. You can like them based on what they've done, what they've accomplished, and nothing more, nothing less, really. It's a neat way to do it while also saving money on not having to actually make character models and stuff. You just make little blobs of light. Where does this lead back to? Probably leads 700 miles earlier. And I'm just gonna have to walk back down the path like I've done every fucking time. That's, that's better if Lizzie and Steven are together and Robert and Kate are the, the odd ones out because Kate doesn't seem bad. Robert, if his marriage isn't working, eh. Marriage isn't working, don't stay together. It doesn't help anyone, it just makes two people miserable instead of no one, really. Marriage counseling. On Twitch. And YouTube, I suppose. Birds. Follow Wendy's trail of dead birds. And broken marriages. And this is where I would have come down. Yeah. That is, yeah, I would have missed a bit. Just one, but still. Terry, is it Terry in June? Can't even remember. With too many. Nah. Nah, nah. Okay, so it seems like I'm remembering mainly the places and not the names so much. Except if someone's like. Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about know. taping over your music, but we. That <laughs> is your dad and I. In case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Bath. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush, it's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp. She'll be fine. They reference the Rachel, camp. Rachel, darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs. Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. You finished? Right, grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. Why am I walking so slow now? My slight sometimes just follow me. And he's like following me, telling me like, hey, dude, fuck up. What are you... What are you what are you doing, you prick? No, come on. Let's be on our way. It's like, no, I gotta, I gotta scour these forests that have nothing to do with any of the plot for radios that aren't gonna be there because I would hear static. And phones that aren't gonna be there because I would hear phones. I 
at his little thing over here, because fuck me. Why is this one not locked? The other ones were locked. Ooh, pretty vill. Vill? Pretty view. That camp. I want, next time we see one of those maps, if we do see another map anytime soon, I want to look and see if a camp is plotted there. I would guess it, I would guess a camp would be by a lake. That's traditionally how it seems to be done. Oh. Are these those beekeeping things? Oh. There's something in the observatory with me. That's not good. I can feel it reaching out to me. When it's close, I'm overcome with the most profound sense of belonging. loneliness. Or longing. Uh, longing. The exact opposite of belonging. Loneliness. Or are you saying you feel lonely? Or that's what that thing emits? That's a physical being, by the way. When it touches me, it it messes me up. I can't walk through it. Like, it actually moves me. This is... I think this is the Chinese room made this game. I think those are the guys behind Amnesia Machine for Pigs. I think. And I heard that wasn't too great. I heard this scene. Wendy, wake up. Frankie. Wendy, is that you? No, it's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. The door was open. Graham's didn't the groundskeeper guy mind. from the sure very beginning. What are you doing here? She doesn't feel Looking well. For Stephen, but Go I off, frame rate. Out of steam. And the door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard him on the radio before. It's all over the valley. Don't you get that? Wow. This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've so they... the whole valley. So, Tower 6. Like, summoned that thing? Monsters thing? Alien signal thing? Huh. We can't turn it away. What's he talking about? I don't Ken. I don't Ken. If he's on the radio, I can try and reach him on the CB. Frank, you like go a to Stephen's house with Charlie. And if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. So Wendy's Wendy's end is probably gonna be at the at Stephen's house. Poor Wendy. She seems good. An old woman in a new world. Keeping it real. Straight OG. Where did I come in from if it wasn't through the front? Oh, from the side. So the other bus station thing. Peter Pun? Oh dang it. I was like, oh, I'd go see that show. But no. That's the, yeah, it's the radio house. Still got the pain bucket. God damn bloody thing! Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start, start, you bastard! Come on! Gah. Steven's going out of his fucking mind trying to do whatever he's doing with the paint. I think it's he's the one tagging or whatever, spainting, painting Steven. everywhere. This must be Steven's house then. She stopped like 
20 feet before she got to Steven's house. Frame rate, God. Steven, are you here? It's your mother. Answer me. Am I supposed to be able to see Steven! her ghost thing? Or am I supposed to be walking about? What do you mean, okay? There must be a logic to the pattern. There's no blood. He's in my It's kill shifting house. in response to me. It's alive. It's the only explanation. Yeah, I don't think we're able. We're supposed to like see. We weren't supposed to see any light or anything. We just walked in and then we just heard her voice. Come on, walk faster. Oh, is that blood? That's one. No, it's just one. Is that where we were supposed to be? Not upstairs? Fuck is that noise? Is that supposed to be that thing? Is that supposed to be a reference? Because that's, I think, what was being painted everywhere. Now, this is the door we came in from, isn't it? It has to be. How did we not notice any of this crap? Now we just walked in. Huh. I have a great memory. Stephen, where is Kate? Are you here? I'm gonna go out back first. I don't like the motion blur on the movement. Kinda makes my eyes hurt. Maybe that's supposed- that's an intended effect, because that's supposed to be your brain and the- Oh god. Oh yeah, no, she's gone. She- she disappears. Because that- She has a ton of birds! Yeah, I think this is the last one, because I think for the last one for Jeremy we had to hold it like this. Steven? I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. You can come out now. It's all gonna be alright. I can hear the jets coming. Oh, she's It's gone. like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. I think she was talking to Steven. I think she was just being dementia. Yes, I use dementia as an adjective. Hope there wasn't anything in there. So whenever they end a character thing, it seems like they do this. They do this light thing on the ground, and it leads you to the next one. No music this time. Just kind of spooky. Hers was abrupt. Like, Jeremy's was this whole, like, revelation of him just being angry and everybody's gone. And I wonder if he was the last one to go. Next to Kate, if Kate goes. If we're even playing as Kate, I don't know. I'm guessing so, because she was the one who's saying I'm the only one left. <sighs> A reassuring thing is my I seem to be able to remember uh, all the little skit things we've come across. Not skits, but all the little lights that play out with the people talking to each other and stuff. I can kind of I have a good grasp of what those what ones of those we have seen. So if those are the collectibles, like they're missable, most of them. And I'll be able to go back and watch YouTube videos and be like, okay, I have this one because I remember this happening. I, I don't have this one. And even if I don't remember, 
I'll go back and see, okay, it's not there anymore, so it must be, I must have gotten it. It's a win-win. I think the last game I didn't use in a, a trophy guide for, huh, of I think any sort was a gravity rush. I got all the collectibles and did everything by myself. So I think this might be the only game I've ever done all the collectibles by myself. Frank. Frankie boy. Yeah. So if I had done Jeremy's without interacting with Wendy's that one time, her name would have come up at the end of the little light show at the end of uh, Jeremy's. But because I had already seen Wendy and then went back to Jeremy's, so, so you don't have to actually go through the entire arc for each character like I've been doing. You can just skip stuff and just go to the next one. Which makes me think 99% of this game is skippable. I'm just going back. That was a tiny road. We just we just went a, the really, really long way around. Come on, light. Stop. Stop doing that. Stop frame rate. Stop frame rating. Oh my god, it's awful. Stop it. Jesus. What's this? Yachtin' Road. Frankie Frank! CB Radio Man. Silent Hill Zero all over again. It's a Silent Hill Zero? Silent Hill Origins. Oh, Z Zero. We might come across that guy, because uh, we're by the farms and stuff, we might come across the guy that lost all his cows. And uh, the husband of Mary. We must go to the camp at one point. I hear the radio. Music. I, I think I could see this place from over there. Albus Graham. Oh. Morning, Frank. Albus. Out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell! There's a twelve-foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless. No. Can I borrow the ladder? No one said you were useless. Reese. Hi, Frank. Let's go in the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. I like this Frank guy already. You be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. Graham, yeah, Graham was Graham, Grim was the guy saying, "If the observatory gates fail, you guys will be stuck in there. Don't come crying to me." And then they totally fail, and he's like, "Oh fuck! Now I gotta go talk to Frank about giving a ladder, and he's gonna call me useless, and I'm gonna be like, I'm not useless." <laughs> I like all these characters a lot more than I thought I would. Also, I totally heard... Whoa! Okay, that's a hay bale. The light was hitting in a way that I was like, Is that just a giant ball of light? Spinning in circles. No, it's not. No, it wasn't, actually. It wasn't that. And I didn't catch the name of, what, Reese? R-H-Y-S. Tales from the Borderlands crossover. Everybody's Gone to the Borderlands 2017. Announced. Yep, yeah, radio. One, One, All the power spiked with the last discharge and then went out again. And I could see the Aurora dancing around Tower 6. Tower 6 is At the same time, the zero. intensified and I think I began to hallucinate. Kate's observing this with Old a and new memories are clashing and tumbling around me. <laughs> We're on the cusp of a breakthrough. I can feel it. She's very scientific about this whole thing. It's like, you know, for a moment, I was just hallucinating. I, I totally knew that I was hallucinating. Because science. I like that each area seems to actually have slightly different, not visual design, but layout, location-wise. This is more of a farm, rural area. The first was like a town with a town square and... A little park and a gathering hall and a church and the next one was just like a suburban neighborhood thing with kind of a little park as well and now this is just farms and rural areas. Hi! I want to work with you! Jesus! What the bloody hell are you doing? What are you up to? What are you, Get out of my way. This is important. Did you take a bike? Lizzie. You mess with her, I'll knock your bloody block off. I son. need to track the pattern. It's critical. What are you talking about, Stephen? People are sick. Birds are dying. My cows are dead. Oh, Frank is Mary's husband. Where's Kate? Okay. Send up at the tower for all I know. 
I could recalibrate the radial coordinates on the primary oscillators. If that holds up... Stephen, where's Kate? What's going on? Just keep out of my way! He's totally on a bike. The sound design is awesome. Like, I could tell... I think Wendy had a crutch or something. A splint of some sort, whatever. Not splint. Because I think it was Wendy, or not Barb. Because I think. Because when she was walking, you could hear, uh, you could hear a little clank of metal, and that was a cool touch, without actually showing. I'm sure you can kind of tell by her posture or something, but I'm not paying that much attention to the little blobs of light. And then Steven, like you can't really, t you can't see visually that he's trying to grab a bike and running away from Frank, but you can hear the sounds that you would hear and associate with a bike, and you go, oh, he's on a bike. It's cool. It's, it's less seeing... You're not just telling me, hey, Frank doesn't go, hey, why are you stealing my bike? He's not just, not exposition, but he's not cleanly just saying, hey, blank, blank, and blank is happening right now. Little thing. It's the little things in life. We still gotta go all the way back there. That light. That light blob just kicked up dust. Why am I slow? Oh, because that's. I can hear flies. I don't know why flies can get killed. Like, and bumblebees. That's weird. You never mentioned anything about them sickening yesterday. I checked them last night on the way back and they were fine. Oh, Charlie's Frankie's friend. I woke up this morning and the whole lot had gone. Yeah, you can hear it in his voice. Tell like, me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, it's like, fuck, man. I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all around the Reekin. Lizzie's the sister. Dr. Wade reckons there's sick folk all over the village. Meg said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. And Meg is the quarantine the in with the Charlie. I reckon it's best we just sit it out. And Meg is It'll Meg disappeared right, back in York. This'll all come right. Yeah, right. I am sorry about your cows, Frank. But when things settle down, they'll see you, all right? There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I, like I tell you, Charlie, something big is happening. Frank is like... All the main character people are the ones, like, actually going around seeing things done. Oh, I bet the end of Frank's is gonna be he's gonna like see Mary or something, kinda like Eddie with uh with Wendy. But not in a dementia way. More in a uh like, oh you're totally not dead, you're still with me. And then he's gonna be like, Oh Jeremy killed you! The fucker! So, he managed to get the transfer to the observatory, then? Well, this Catherine woman must have swung it. Now he says they're getting married before they come back. Aww. It's typical. Why can't he just wait till he's home? Are you gonna go? Goodness, no. To your son's wedding? People. I expect they do things That is racist. You wanna come in for a couple That is racist, home? Wendy. I don't think you so. You people. Christ's sake, woman, it's been eight months. Won't you just come in and talk? Well, you didn't want to talk when Mary was still alive. You and Charlie Tate out drowning your sorrows when you should have been at home nursing your wife. You can be a nasty old bird, Wendy Boyles. Frank Appleton, you come back here and say that again. Our mother always said you were a bad egg. You'll come a cropper, you mark my words. So, Frank... I'm gonna guess Frank is Lizzie's brother, 
but he's Frank Appleton and Stephen Appleton and Wendy Appleton, so they're part of a family together. Kate is in Appleton. She is by marriage. It's bloody England. You can't Fox. just stop the train, stop people travelling about the place. I don't like it, Frank. I don't like it at all. Well, nobody likes it. No sense sweating cobs over it. Folk all riled about it, giving me grief. I didn't stop the bloody trains, did I? And did they give me any warning? No, they bloody didn't. Yeah, Yesterday, blood it's all trains. like keep them calm, Howard. Minor disruptions. And today, it's all government edicts and not until further notice. And you'll manage. Half the village has vanished. It's a couple of people. It's hardly half the village. Oh, right now. You forget, I've seen things. I was in the Falklands. I don't know what the Falklands are. Tell you I got out the old air raid siren to test it this morning. Air raid siren? What on earth are you going to do with one of those? He's going to make this place really sound Hill. Took it home, stuck it under the bed. Thought it might be worth something one day. Oh, damn it. It's all right. It's just a nosebleed. Here, here's my Yankee. It's clean. Oh, thanks, thanks. Forget like a bloody drain all day. Oh, this game's really good. I like it a lot so far. The voice acting especially is really good. Like, you can tell... Fucking... They really nail the sound design with the voice acting and stuff. I heard, I heard a radio thing. Oh, fuck off. I better not be able to actually walk in this, like, cob field. Not cob. Wheat field. Fuck off, I can barely see. It's pretty. This this is cool imagery. I thought there was a dead body. It's like, oh fuck. And that's just rocks. Oh. No, it had spots on it, so it's like, is that a dead cow? No, it's just still rocks. Is that a dead body? No, it's rocks. Is that a dead body? No, it's still rocks. Oh, can you kind of... I never noticed that. You can kind of hear what they're saying. Can you see the observatory from there? That's over the ridge, just past the windmill. Oh. You want to live near the station in case you need a quick getaway? Something like that. <laughs> so you and Steven... I'm sensing there's not a lot of love lost there, huh? That's between him, me, and the caves. You're gonna have to explain that one for me. It's nobody else's business. Look, you seem all right to me. You don't want to worry about that lot in the village. Provided cool. I'm left I like alone, I'm happy. Steven's the one who likes to be at the center of things. <laughs> no change there, then. <laughs> Francis Appleton. You are a bad man. No wonder your sister won't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I like these two. I like these two. That was cool. They both kind of don't give a shit about what the old people say. I don't know where Frank fits into the Appleton family. Lizzie, if I'm even right about Lizzie being his sister, because that's why he's saying, hey, I'll knock your teeth out, Steven, you mess with Lizzie. And he wouldn't really do that. If that was his girlfriend, he'd knock his fucking teeth out anyway for getting near her. But that's his sister. As long as he treats her right, he's fine. But that means that she would be an Appleton too, which means Steven would be related to the girl he's trying to sleep with. I don't know. That's, that's what's confusing me. The incest part. But it can't be, which means I'm either wrong about Lizzie being his sister, which means someone else has to be his sister. This must be the camp or something. I don't want to go down there because Frank's is over there. Way over there. I guess not. I guess Frank's is down there, because there's the light. Fuck me. I don't know how this video game works. I bit my tongue while I was saying that. I've been doing that a lot. Don't like it. No, that can't be the camp. The camp would be a full-fledged, like, part. Unless another name pops up and I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, fuck me. Radio. I heard another radio over by that. Fuck. Under the microscope, it's you can totally see how the light was following the cellular structure of its wings. The neural simplicity of the insects seems to prevent a full-blown infestation, so there's none of the hemorrhaging I'm seeing in the birds. But Stevens. That totally explains what I was talking about. This isn't an attack. It's a fuck. byproduct of the attempt 
to communicate. That's why the bumblebees and the insects are still alive. It's getting smarter. It's learning as it adapts. I'm confident of a breakthrough soon. So as it adapts, it will kill less people because it's trying to communicate? So it doesn't want them to die. So the more people that die, it'll eventually not kill them. Maybe that's what... Then maybe Kate is the last one because with Jeremy they figured out... Or with whoever they killed last, they perfected it or whatever. I'm guessing one of the last chapters is going to be Stephen's. It's not going to be Kate's because I'm guessing we're playing as Kate. We're not just a ghost exploring this. Plot twist, Kate's totally a ghost. She's been a ghost this whole time. That's what Wendy meant by her people. Ghost people. Wendy. Wendy hates ghosts. Loves Eddie, though. Racist. There's gotta be a light here. Yep, yeah, in there. Breaker, Breaker 9, call in on 9. This is Lost Cowboy looking for anyone out there. Hello? What? Why is the... Breaker 1-9. Why is it Breaker glitching? Breaker traveling, Sherlock. Charlie, you out there? Over. Why was it glitching out? <laughs> Hello? My family, my, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. Oh, yeah. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. No. Don't you lecture no. me about sacrifice, you, you stupid, stupid, little stupid shit. bastards. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. So Frank Tell accidentally them. caught. The time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. Yeah, the chronology of all this stuff is super weird. And that's... Oh, you tell me... Fuck off, Light. You know I can... Fuck off. Try and communicate. Humans can't walk through light. Or can't walk through physical objects. Why is it saving so much lately? Come on. Back in Yorton, you saved, like, once. Total. think yeah we're gonna have to go all the way around anyway just because there's a little thing blocking the way we're gonna have to go in that house I think no or that one on the left yeah the white one maybe more well, both because I don't remember going in that one but that was the one across from that place that we got one of the lights where I heard a radio fuck off I'm not going that way yet I'm not gonna forget about this white house that I totally heard a radio at yep knew it Telescope and Tower Six is burned out. Fuck it, stop talking about Tower Six. Radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Math. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. My face is still numb from the burn. Fuck. Face burn. You got burned. Lady, another one. I can go in there then, definitely. Feeling like I'm about to sneeze. Eh? No? No, I guess not. They're reusing that dripping water sound effect, I guess. <laughs> I want to just walk into a room and see a fucking new. Wow. Close enough. Nah. I want a proper noose just hanging from somewhere. Someone couldn't fucking deal. Just went, nah, fuck that shit. I'm out. That's the, that's the amount of creepy imagery I need in my horror game. I need it. Oh, whoa. This must be Mary's room. How's your sister, Frank? 
We've not spoken since the funeral. Ah, I see. Who's your sister? Well, uh, listen, I, I say that her name's Lizzie. Wonder if you might do me a bit of a favor and check in on her, see if she's all right. Doctor Wade, if they drop the bomb, there'd be no left but cockroaches and Wendy Boyles. <laughs> it's a bit odd, really. There's an old chap, John Coles, regular visitor at Lakeside, went walkabout sometime last night. Now it appears Mrs. Boughton has done the same. Enid? Well, that'd be clever. They amputated her leg last spring. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. I've also got a surgery full of people with nosebleeds and headaches. Drop the the council are saying influenza, but I've been practicing for 35 years and I'm not convinced. I just wondered if you might pop by and see her. Even if I did, do you really think she'd let me in? Fine. Forget it. I'll see her. Leave it to me. His sister's oh, probably not Frank, Lizzie. Call the hospital and get them to collect all this stuff. It's been eight months. Yeah, this is probably gonna... That light just peeking at me through the fucking window. You creep. His sister must not be Lizzie. Because Lizzie... I don't know. Lizzie must be someone else. Because, uh, well, I guess we'll see at some point. Because the end of Frank's is either going to be something to do with his wife, something to do with his sister. And Mary's not part of the story because she's been dead. Part of the story is that Jeremy totally killed Mary. Quote unquote killed. Radio. I'm gonna be able to climb a thing again. Yay! Action! People say this game's boring. It's basically designed by Platinum. I hung up on Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. There has to be a way of consolidating. Oh, fuck. Of offering a reciprocal amplification to the signal. We imagine if I just broke my leg and then just disappeared. I think that's the way we need to go. Fuck, man. This is too much stuff. Too much. Too many pads. This is bullshit. This game opened up way too much for me. I think we're almost at like an. I think we're uh, just past an hour long at this point. Let's go over here first, because the game probably wants me to follow the main road and go that way, and then all this other stuff is on the side. Wade called me in about six weeks after. How? Oh. Once he thought I could cope with knowing. Oh, I Can it ever sure. repay you for what you did? What? She was a good woman, Frank. The best. He understand. You should Frank, come back to church. You're awesome. Back to the community. You're missed. I hate him, Father. I can't get down on my knees and pretend otherwise. And I don't understand why you don't hate him too. I try my hardest not to, Frank. It goes against the job description somewhat. But faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. We have to trust him. Even when his methods are hidden from view. Maybe see you on Sunday. I like all these characters. I like these characters. I like this game. I think it's good writing and stuff is good. I can have another jump adventure. Jump! Okay, yeah, this... I think that's the way that I couldn't get up. The fucking ghost just teleported through and left me behind. Left me behind! Everybody's gone and the light left me too.
Every light's gone to the rapture. That's awesome. That Frank's like, dude, no. How can I ever repay you? I cannot ever repay you for what you did to his wife's essentially killer. He's like, you put her out of her misery. Thank you so much. Because he wouldn't have been able to do that. And he would have probably felt super guilty had he done it. Yeah, it's going to force me to go back down this way anyway. Good. Good. Linearity. Please. I need you. There's benches over there, so there might be a conversation. Nah, the light kind of leads you to each of the other lights. The radios are the ones that kind of... No, those aren't benches, those are troughs. If that's even what it's called. Grass clipping through troughs. I could totally be wrong, and those are not what those are called at all. Windmill. More of this wheat stuff. I could also be wrong. This could be corn for all I know. I don't know things like that. Even though I said earlier, I think I'm pretty smart. It's like, I am fucking, I don't know what I don't know. All is all. Everything is everything. Nothing is replaceable. Ball, birds. More birds. Wendy's gone. Where fucking birds coming from. Stop! Keep back, you bastard! I know what you've done. Where's this? Has he got a gun? Where is she? I've got to find her. You stay away. Someone's got to warn them. Someone's got to stop it. You can't stop it. You have to understand. You hate me. I get that. But if we don't do this, it's not just the valley. It's everything, Frank. It's all gone. You're talking bollocks. You can't stop it. Jesus! You take one step closer, I'll bash your bloody skull in. I swear to God. All right. All right. I'm going. But if you see Lizzie, tell her to get out. There's still time. Please, Frank. For her, not me. If you're that bloody caring, you can save her yourself. That must not Don't be a case for them. I have to stay. Someone has to be here to confirm that everyone is dead. But won't you be dead with what? Won't you be dead too? And wouldn't it spread by people too? Considering it is in your head. You have tiny flakes of light in your blood. There's the air raid siren. Damn it. Another foot panel. Did the, was that moving before and it stopped now? That's a cool visual. Windmill blocking the light. Oh, was there anything in there? So Frank got a gun. He didn't kill Steven. I don't know why he even hates Steven. They're, re they're related somehow. Wendy's Stephen's son. Wendy's Stephen's mother. Stephen is Wendy's son. <laughs> and it doesn't seem like they're brothers. I don't fucking know. This is another uh, radio though. And it. It does sound like Kate's voice is one thing, the numbers. Again, but the pattern has burnt itself onto the lens. It's soaking up light. Got the telescope up and running again, but the pattern has burnt itself onto the lens. That's fucked up. It's soaking up light and radiation, but not routing it anywhere. So I can only guess that it's using it as an energy source in its attempts to communicate. It needs more power. I wonder if I could boost the reception by using multiple towers. So, the light is soaking up radiation to get power, but then when it introduces the radiation from its power into people's heads, they grow tumors, and they get the little flecks of light in their blood, and they die. Whoa, Texas. What is that? I forget what that's called. Aliasing? Anti-aliasing? -ali I think? I don't know computer stuff. I don't 
play on computer. There you go. Terry and June Frank, just stopped. Get it out of the way. Lizzie's most definitely not a sister. Though. I don't know what happened. It just died on me. Give it another go. Oh, I only just put petrol in it as well. Robert's taken the other car into town. I wish he'd get back. He promised me that he'd be back this morning. You think he's off on another bender? Oh, I can't police him all the time, Frank. He's not a child. What's going on, Lizzie? Nothing. You're seeing Stephen again, aren't you? You two can't keep pithering on like this. If Robert hasn't already worked it out, he soon will. Oh, not if he carries on drinking the way he is. Shit. Pardon my French, but bloody shit. Thing. Why won't it start? Come on, I'll give you a lift. It's so weird that everyone's just like, oh, you're totally cheating on your husband, and Stephen's totally cheating on his wife. But eh, I'll give you a lift. We're still friends. Don't cheat on your spouse's kids, or I won't like you. I don't like when people do that. It's fucked up. Get divorced, at least. Not at least. That makes it sound like a bad thing. If you're even thinking about it, just get divorced. You clearly don't. You clearly are not committed enough. That shit. It's messed up. The guilt's messed up, bro. Bri bridge? No, map. Map. Uh, camp. These are differently marked. Totally mapping out each of the little light things. That'd be super neat if it is. It's not like we can actually... Lakeside. There is a lakeside, so it might be a camp. There was a light over there. But I was already over there. Hmm. Oh fuck. That must be the culmination of everything. But that footpath is closed off. I must I must have to go up and cross around there, but for now I'll just follow the light and see if it leaves. Because I don't want to accidentally go into the next area without closing out Frankie's. And I don't know if you only get that final one if you've seen them all, or if you can finish it, but without having seen every single one of them. That looks blocked off still. Yeah. Come on, light. Lead me. I'll follow this time, for once. That kind of sounds like a, a rebreather. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's going to lead me all the way back around. Where are you going? You moron. Light. You're not helping. Whatever. Let's go just back around this way. I guess she didn't get... Oh no. Yeah, Frank said I'll give you a lift. So who is his sister? They must not have named her yet. Because it's not Lizzie. He was just looking out for Lizzie as like a friend. Like fucking don't, don't be a dick. And why does he even hate Stephen that much? Hopefully they elaborate. But I doubt it because I kind of feel like we're nearing that little huge... That little... That huge swerve. That's weird. The light, the, there's two different grass textures next to each other. Please don't be, please don't be another character name now. Please don't be. You're totally going to be. God damn it. But this is totally the only way to get to Frank's. No, there must be another one. But that's Lizzie's, yeah. And this is probably the path I'm going to take. Yep. 
this is going to be my path that I take into the next one. And then, yeah, I'll stop for today with Wendy and Frank's chapters done. It's getting longer than I expected, and I like it a lot more than I expected. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to let me in at first. Oh, cool. Oh, maybe... Yeah, Frank's the one who set up the... The big horn thing. Because he heard about it from Howard. I'm not gonna touch that. Because I feel like that's gonna be his final. I, first I need to see if there was a way actually to get up here other than going to Lizzie's. I don't feel like it because they wouldn't... They wouldn't... I don't know. With Wendy's I had to go out of my way to skip it. And the only way to get up here other than going through Lizzie's and coming down was to come on is this gonna be come on now it just leads to the closed off footpath the footpath that I can't get through why can I not get through this footpath I can what is that intentional have I been able to do that the whole time Fuck you. That That's poor design. There's, there's no reason that I should just be able to walk over that now. I've never seen that. Why can't I just open it? Why do I have to walk over it? There's no need for the fence to be there if I just walk over it. Because visually it goes, oh, that fence looks closed off. I can't walk over that. Because this is a walking simulator. You don't climb things. I can climb the ladders. That's it. That's dumb. That's weird. Okay. If I have to charge it, yep, this is the final. Goodbye, Frankie boy. I'll miss you. My name is Frank Jacob Appleton. And if you're listening to this, then maybe Stephen was right. And by sending the planes, he stopped it all getting worse. So did they bomb Yachton? It's a beautiful morning. I wasn't there when Mary died. I was too scared. So I went to the pub instead. What will be, will be, Frank, she said. And I just want you to face it with me. And I didn't. But I will now. I will <laughs> face it with you now, Mary. Wait. Wait a second. They're coming. That was totally the sound of a bomb. Multiple bombs. Oh wow. That's cool, I didn't notice that before. So is that is he dead now? Like are those the the big bombs that would kill like everything within miles? Because that seems like the kind of bomb you drop to stop sort of an epidemic. But then that doesn't explain why the hell uh Kate would still be alive and why there would still be grass or anything. So I don't know if this is metaphysical, it's not actually happening, but also, I'm pretty sure that's just the plot of Silent Hill 2. I'm pretty sh her name's even Mary, I'm pretty sure the wife in Silent Hill 2 is Mary. Spoilers for Silent Hill 2, kind of, light spoilers. But. That must be kind of intentional, at least. James, it's James in Silent Hill 2, not Frank, so, yeah. It's not exactly the same, but it feels kind of like an homage, slightly. Now, if Jeremy had been named James, 
and just compound that into one character, then yeah, it's basically full Silent 2. I like Silent Hill 2 a lot. It's a good game. So, HD collection gets shit on a lot. And I never played the original, so it might be deserving of it. But I, you know, that's the only way I've ever experienced the games, because it had trophies, so I played that instead of the PS2 versions. And I like Silent 2 and 3 a lot. Which, it made me want to play Silent Hill 4. Not 5, because five's garbage, and 1. People say 4 is bad, but I, from what I've heard and seen, I don't think 4 is bad. Okay, we will end it here, and then I'll probably pick up the same thing with Jeremy. Pick it up over there, the autosave. But, thank you for watching. Everybody's gone. Except you, hopefully. Bye-bye. Have a nice day, night, whatever. Bye. Hope you enjoyed.